Hello everyone, welcome back as we play more Calamity Death Mode here in Terraria. This is going to be fun, and I should note out that we have a little death counter up in the corner, so you want to go ahead and check that out. Keep an eye on how many times I die, and enjoy the misery. So today, we're going to push on a little bit further. I'm trying to find a desert. I would like to fight the desert scourge at some point, too. Actually, I would like to get... There we go. I want to get these Wolfram Shards, because it'd be very nice to actually build some Wolfram gear. I want to go Ranger with this, at least for a little while, but... It appears that's not going to be as easy as I had hoped. So let's go ahead and keep moving on. Every time I die, I'll throw a death into the death counter. Right now we have two, so let's hope we don't have to throw too many in there. But death mode is pretty intense, more so even with the bosses, because the bosses are, tend to be buffed up even more than revengeance mode. So moving along, we actually have some chests over here, which are extremely helpful. Well, jacket climbing claws, they'll definitely help. We'll actually have better traction against walls and such. And we've got some desert feather. Actually, I've explored a little bit so far, so I've got a feeling where the desert is. So let's go ahead and keep moving along. Agile blowpipe, very nice. Okay, here we go. More of these guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. There we go. More Wolfram Shards, always good. So over here is where it's going to happen, and I'll build an arena eventually when it's time. My experience in the first through pass-through with Calamity has given me the knowledge that building a pretty sizable area away from the ground is good. That way we can stay safe from the, the Desert Scourge. I don't want you... Wow, he actually killed me with one shot. Yeah, no, tell me about it. That's actually insane. What the heck? Look, guys, all I want to do is go back to my corpse and get things. Leave me alone, please, shall we? I've got a couple of Wolfram shards. Let's see what we got. We have, what, 13 Wolfram? Oh, my gosh. It will not end. It will clearly not end. And yet, taking one hit with no armor is actually very detrimental. We went from 120, or at least we went down to one or 61. Oof. Man, today is not a good day. Let's go ahead and grab some cactus, too, so that way we can go ahead and make some cactus armor and a sword, if need be. Now, we're going to be... We're going to be swallowed up here by these guys. It'd be nice to actually have some potions for these boss fights because, again, in death mode, they're much more ramped up. So getting iron skin for any any boss fight, especially the first one, would probably be a very good idea. I don't know what it's going to be looking like right now. We're just trying to get some resources and get built up. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, getting the wolf from Shard will be a little bit easier. Killing the sand slime be a different story. Trying to not die here. There we go. Thank you very much. So, a little bit more Wolfram. I know we've got some in a chest back home. I know that's trouble down there, so we're not even going to deal with that just yet. That'll be at some point we'll come back and explore it. It may be a good idea. But for the trinket that actually summons the Desert Scourge, we're going to need, like, what, 25 sand blocks, a couple of cactus, and a few other reagents as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of those, but not right now because, I, again, I still want to get some collection done, and getting some armor will be very, very good. Because I have no protection right now, and you're going to see it every time I get hit. And it seems like life regen is not as fast as it used to be, so that could be a thing. Maybe it's just me imagining things. I have no idea. Oh, hello, little buddy. What do we got down here? We got some wolf from for me. I would like really be... There we go. I really like that. Oh, we got another one. Okay, first up, heal. I feel so noobish at this, just because these guys take a large chunk of health. Yeah, I'm back down to 69 health. You've got to avoid these critters, really. You've got to avoid them early on. Okay, no, I said avoid them, not pet them. We do not pet the vulture. There we go, we do not pet the vulture. Yikes. Give me these cactus. Give me these cactus. Give me, oh no, it is trouble on the slime shell. No, please don't kill me. Don't kill me, oh my god. All right, look, all I wanted to do was get over here and explore a little bit and get some shards. These guys, not allowing that to happen. So let's just not die. Kind of hang back with these guys. Stop taking these a little bit too easy because, yeah, they're not going to be easy on me. Slime is hanging in there. Good for slime. Just kind of hang out back there, buddy. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not too fond of dealing with you guys. And we've got flying eyes and everything else. So for the most part... Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, no, this ain't good. No, this ain't good at all. Okay, so... Oh! We're popping out of here. So much for that. Okay, we've got like a whole 15 life. 65 life. Oh, no, not you. So, yeah, this game is still very, very much going insane in the first part of this. We're going to need to make some armor like ASAP. Get out of here, please. Get out of here, Angry Shackle. 
Anything at this point will do, definitely. We've got our climbing claws, angry shackle, we've got our flurry boots. Either way. So, resources say we have enough to make something. Yes, please. Anything, quick stack. We have what? 34, 37, Wolfram shards. Which means we can at least make a bow, which would be extremely helpful. I like yo-yos, but I think bows would be pretty good too. We've got 20. So that's 50. Oh my gosh, 75 pieces of cactus for the cactus leggings. Or for the cactus armor, excuse me. That's insane. That is insane, bro. Okay, how much do we got? 65. We're actually 10 off. Are you kidding me? Well, whatever. Any armor is better than no armor, correct? So let's go ahead and grab them. At least we'll have something. And then Wolfram. I, the Wolfram. I believe we have enough to make something. I believe we could make something, correct? Hold on. Is it in, yeah, it's my inventory. So let's see what we can craft with this. And bow, which is always good. So, uh, I don't know. Armor, we're not going to have enough for armor. I'm pretty positive about that. But yeah-ish. This is not too hot. Let's go ahead and craft a bow because we're going to need to. And replace you. And I've got 166 arrows, so that'll be fun. Let's not die anymore, please. Yeah, there we go. See, this makes it much better. I like having the wolf from bow. Hopefully after this we can get a nice upgrade too, which will make it more more powerful. Makes all the difference. See, it makes all the difference. I love it. Having that kind of power. But we're also going to need to make more arrows. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to go ahead and wait for daytime. Because I don't know if I can... Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's not wait for daytime. Let's not be weak. Let's not feel weak in this. Let's go ahead and push on forward, shall we? Let's feel bold, adventurous. Let's go on adventure. Hopefully not die today. So why did I come back to base? Because I'm a coward. Actually, you know what? It's actually the storm over there. I totally forgot. So immediately when I saw it, I hurried up and pulled back because I'm not wanting to deal with antlion chargers and everything else with this kind of weak setup. We're not going to be prepared at all. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. And you know what? I'm a bit, I'm a coward. What can, what can we make here? Let's just kind of stay, stay back at the house and try to build something else, right? Shall we? Uh, what, what can we make? You know, I'm, I'm sure we can make some uh, some other nice things like pickaxes and such, you know? Pickaxes and, and powerful pickaxes. And yes, I probably should go out and collect more of these stars that fall because jester arrows are very good, especially for boss fights. Hello, boss. Well, you're not a boss. You're just an angry dog who's running around. So can we, we can take you out, right? Okay, he's around here somewhere. Oh, God. He's fast. I forgot how fast he is. Really, how, how are you so fast? There we go. Well, he's fast, but we took him out. And he must be something exclusive to, like, the snow biome or something, because I don't see him anywhere else. We didn't see him when we were going over toward a desert biome. That's interesting, so... Something I may learn right there. I may have to look into that, but at least he's dead. And at least we can go ahead and make some different... Like, can we make a gold pickaxe? Don't know if I have enough wood. Maybe I do have enough wood, I just don't have enough gold. That's what it is. So we can actually make a wolf from pickaxe, but that's... Maybe like a smidget or actually on the same range as this. So that's very unfortunate. Can we make like a, anything? <laughs> Any kind of pickaxe that can like be an upgrade? Actually, gold bow would probably be a little bit of upgrade over Wolfram, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. That is annoying. And how much crit? Yeah, I, I'm being very picky with this. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Very weak knockback. That has average speed. But this has fast speed, doesn't it? Yeah, it has fast speed. C... With no knockback. Yeah, I like Wolfram. I'm going to stick with that. The Wolfram is much better. But, you know what? Maybe we'll just go with the Iron Pickaxe because it's an upgrade. So we need something better than Copper. Copper is just, you know, Copper. Get out of here, you. And anything else. All right, you know what? Stop knocking on my door, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Stop knocking on my door. Air to the face. Air to the face. Air to the face. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the air to the knee. Stop jumping, please. You know what? I'm going to chance it. I just want to see if it's still here. And we get more air, more stars, too. So that's really, really, really awesome. Actually helps out. Yep, it's still here. Oh, God. No. No run. No, no run. I've seen him take off. Nope. Not dealing with you. No, sir. Not dealing with you. Died more than enough times already. Okay. So, again, yeah. Knowing when to retreat is the best part of a battle. You know, there may be no valor in it. But you know what? And sometimes it's, it's better to live another day and, and fight and not get wrecked especially after you've been wrecked a couple times already knowing when to fight that's exactly what we're trying to do here 
trying to be smart about it. Maybe. I don't know. But I know there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to deal with him in a, snow, in a sandstorm when he's going to have the advantage, clearly. All right, so whatever. I guess we'll go down here and see what's what, and hopefully we'll find something decent or, or forge a path to find something decent. Oh, some coins. Let me go ahead and grab these coins. Yoink! No! Leave me alone. Don't kill me down here. Don't you dare kill me. Oh, what did I thought? Ah! Uh, no! No, leave me alone. Leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone, sir. Yikes. Yikes. The video's over, but there's more where that came from. Be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Let's Plays, Top 5s, and other videos as well as we cover different titles. You can click on one of the videos here for more. Be sure to rate this video accordingly as it helps the channel out greatly. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time.